Now, less than five months ago, Lloyd Wallace was in a coma, but amazingly, next month, he hopes to be competing at the Winter Olympics. Lloyd, who's from Semley in Wiltshire, is an aerial skier and suffered a severe head injury whilst he was training. But the University of Bath graduate has now made a full recovery and is expected to compete in South Korea next month. This is aerial skiing, the very definition of an extreme sport. You get up to 70 kilometers an hour going down the ramp, and then we do multiple flips and twists, and then have to try and figure out how to land it. It's an adrenaline rush. It's not without its risks, as Lloyd Wallace discovered when a freak training accident last August left him with a serious head injury. I don't remember any of it. I've been told that I hit my head coming off the jump and it knocked me out immediately. I was flown to hospital and got put into an induced coma for 24 hours. Um, but I was in the safest hands possible, the best hands possible. And I'm really grateful for that. A brain scan cleared Lloyd of any permanent damage and incredibly by October he was back on the snow. The fact that he had such a major setback so close to the games, uh, it's it's astonishing how how quickly he came back and i think um in terms of an achievement it's probably unheard of even from the hospital there was no doubt from me or my parents that i was getting back into it after i did my first jump every, everyone cheered everyone clapped everyone was happy to see me back on stage, which was just a, an amazing feeling lloyd now has his sights set on next month's winter olympics and he certainly has the pedigree my grandfather went to the Olympics in 48. My uncle went to two Olympics for cycling. My parents have been to the Olympics. It would just be an amazing, amazing honor. Lloyd is already a world junior bronze medalist and has been crowdfunding to help pay for his full-time training in Switzerland. It'll all be worth it if his place at the Olympics is confirmed in the next few weeks. It doesn't get more in your DNA than that, does it? Yeah, a lot to live up to in that family, <laughs> hasn't he? But he, he chose probably the most extreme of sports. Never mind running or cycling or anything like that. Let's do some tricks in the air. I yeah, know. it's very impressive. We all held yeah. our breath, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. I think I, I prefer I... the appraise scheme. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Me too. Oh, those log fires. Mm. Now, and one chocolate. Of the, yeah. <laughs> now, one of the BBC's longest.